Bhutan is a small landlocked nation located in the eastern Himalayas with China to its north and India to the west, south and east. Bhutan is a nation endowed with a pristine natural environment and a rare distinction of having 72.5% of its landmass covered with forest. It is home to some of the most rare and endangered species in the world. Coexisting together, the country has more than 770 birds, 200 mammals and 5,400 plant species. Bhutan has always been environmentally conscious with an innate desire to live in harmony with nature. Even the constitution of Bhutan mandates that the nation maintains a minimum of 60% forest cover at all times. With this in mind, a network of protected areas has been identified and managed by various stakeholders in Bhutan. These protected areas extend through various ecological zones of Bhutan from subtropical forests in the south to alpine meadows in the north. The country has 10 national protected areas and 9 biological corridors as part of Bhutan's biological conservation complex. Biological corridors were established in 1999 to act as biological links between protected areas and facilitate uninterrupted wildlife movement and gene flow. The protected coverage is almost 20,000 square kilometers, which amounts to 51.32% of the country's land area. Pipsu Wildlife Sanctuary is the smallest protected area in the country with an area of about 269 square kilometers. The sanctuary with varying topographical features is located approximately 35 kilometers west of Sarbongzonka along with the Indian border from the Sankash River in the west to Sanatang River in the east. The sanctuary borders Boxwa Tiger Reserve and Rifutsirang Reserve Forest in India, which proves that the park is an important wildlife biological corridor. The Pipsu Wildlife Sanctuary uh, was declared as a wildlife sanctuary in 1993, but it was already under protection since 1974. Now, together with the World Wildlife Fund for Nature Conservation, uh, we are developing this sanctuary. Pipsu Wildlife Sanctuary was known as a commercial logging depot in the late 1960s. Various forms of valuable timber, especially sal and teak, were extracted and exported to neighboring countries. As extraction grew, the area also witnessed the establishment of sawmills and the growth of settlements which began to threaten its forests and wildlife transportation of so many large size uh, logs to that Assam, it was very difficult for them at that time. So then they constructed uh, sawmills in Pipsu area, uh, which has uh, led to large scale uh, degradation of the salt forest before 1960s. Realizing the threats posed by rapid commercialization, the World Government of Bhutan decided to stop logging operations and declare the area as Pipsu Reserved Forest in 1974. Later in 1993, Pipsu was officially designated as a wildlife sanctuary. 
Pipsu Wildlife Sanctuary is a relatively small protected area ranging from 200 to 1,660 meters above sea level. The forest is broadly classified into subtropical, semi-evergreen, moist, deciduous and evergreen broadleaf forest. Twenty mammal species have been recorded in Pipsu Wildlife Sanctuary to date. The flagship species cited are Asiatic elephants, buffaloes, goas, golden nungus, leopards, sambas, deers, pangolin and even several kinds of subtropical reptiles. This is the main habitat of uh, wild boar or lung as we call in our language. Basically, we came here to look for uh, gorn. It is evident that uh, the young uh, gorn was uh, killed by a fallen tree, and it seems that it has been dead uh, not more than three to four days now. According to field staff, the park is home to wild Bengal tigers. Pipsu Wildlife Sanctuary was extended in the west to connect with India's Bakswa Tiger Reserve to help facilitate the migration and conservation of wildlife. Out here what we do is we keep track of the direct sighting. Every day we keep the daily record of the animals we have sighted and from the report it seems that uh, the number of animals is rising. In addition, distinct from other protected areas, Pipsu is the only sanctuary in Bhutan where spotted deer, scientifically known as XSXs, are found. I'll say in just one way, because uh, the spotted deer, or we call it Chital, Chital is found only in this part of uh, our country, Bhutan. I believe there, uh, there have been some stories that uh, Chital are found in Amazon, but uh, as of such, there is no such evidence of that Chital are found in Amazon. But uh, out here in Pipsu, we can come across a large number of uh, chital right now, I think. You can see down there, we see a, a group of chital, I think we counted around 28 numbers now. Apart from its flora and fauna richness, Pipsu 